Yep. I do. I got nine machines at the prison. I service once a week. I got about 70 machines on Fort Rucker. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I probably got about uh, 120, 150 machines total. Wow. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. A cartoon of a man sitting at a computer typing on a keyboard. The view zooms out and we see dozens of other identical men working in office cubicles. The screen goes black. The words working blind appear in green, typed out as if on an older style computer. Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to the channel where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. Today we're doing another episode in our series called Working Blind, where we talk to interesting VIPs out there who are working successfully, hopefully, and um, <laughs> find out what they're doing and, and, and learn a little bit more about them so that hopefully they can inspire you guys and about what types of jobs are available. So we've got a good one here today. Um, this is this job is something you might be familiar with, um, and it's something that's very obtainable for or could be obtainable for a lot of people. So without further ado, let's get into it. Um, talking with Danny today. Danny, thank you so much for joining me, man. Oh, anytime, buddy. Roll Tide. <laughs> of course. It was, all, what was that? 20 seconds? That's all it took? Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Danny. So uh, why don't you introduce yourself fully? And actually, before we get into what you're doing, let's talk a little bit about your vision impairment. Share share with everybody what's going on with your with your eyes and, and your acuity. Uh, let's see. I am 2,200 in both eyes. Histoplasmosis. Yes, that's what I was trying to say. Histoplasmosis, yeah. <laughs> which is caused by working in chicken houses growing up as a kid. Yeah. It's something you breathe in. It's something you breathe in. It can affect your lungs and your eyes. It affected my eyes, but not my lungs. So yeah. I've been slow. I get injections in the eye about every six weeks for the last 20 years. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask about. So it's and it's and it fluctuates. You never know. One morning you might wake up and it's worse and worse yeah, like than the day before. Been kind of acting up, you know. Yeah. It don't see some days pretty good, some days not so good. It's just depending on what kind of day you have. And really, if you're too tired, you know, could cause right. blurry vision. Just little stuff like that. Yeah, but for the most part, I see pretty pretty good to get around. That's all I need. <laughs> so uh, I know a lot about this because Danny is actually my brother-in-law and he's been on the show before we we did a whole video um, Danny lives and my sister lived down in Alabama my sister's been on the channel in fact I did an interview with her for this series as well but um, Danny and I did a video uh, about a year ago I guess where we went down and um, I went around with him yep. And uh, he took me on, uh, showed me what he did, does for a living. So, Danny, why don't you tell everybody uh, who don't know, what do you do for work? I am a vendor. I service vending machines like snack machines and drink machines. Yeah, and That's part of the special I mean, program, right? Yep, part of the business enterprise program. And uh, it's the Alabama Blind Vendors, you know, of Alabama, mm -hmm. you know, the SLA, which is the state of Alabama, helps us, gives us the training. You know, we have to go to a uh, school for six months. Mm -hmm. The training, they teach us about working on vending, you know, a little bit about vending machines, how to fill them and all that, plus restaurants, cafeterias, plus, you know, of course, vending machines. So, yeah, well, that's what we do. And then so, how long have you been doing this? How long have you been in the program? 14 going on 15 years. Okay. Yep. Long time. And uh, we'll talk, we're going to talk more about it. But if anybody is interested, like I said, we did a whole video about this. I went on a route with Danny and um, filled up some machines and he talked a lot about the program. He also talked a lot about bioptic driving because Danny is a bioptic driver. Yes. Yeah. So the business enterprise program is part of the uh, Randolph Shepard program or Randolph Shepard Act. Most states have this, have some similar type of program. I know they do here in Kentucky. And um, can you tell us a little bit more about it, Danny, as far as, you know, you have to, routes will come up for bid, right? And you have to bid on a route to get yeah. it. Yeah. And it's based on seniority, how long you've been in the program. You get one point for every year you're in the program, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, when the route comes out, you just sign it, send you send it back in, and they do a selection on who's the you know been in the pro. Most of the time, if it's a big nice route, you're gonna you know get left out of the you know 
get left out, but yeah. Also go out there and build your own route. You know? Yeah. Just gotta look up to do it. And and so you mentioned um like um concession stands, cafeterias, snack shops, things like that. So it's not just vending machines. They've got a wide variety of things you could do. Micro markets. We're we're getting into micro markets now. I've gotten into pantry service. This is a new one. You had you wouldn't hear I didn't have it when you were here, Sam. Uh-huh. Uh, it's a pantry service. You know how when you go to to the uh, surgery center, like a surgery center where you have colonoscopies and, you know, like cataract surgeries and mm-hmm. stuff like that where they put you to sleep, anesthesia. You know, when you wake up, you uh, they offer you a drink and a pack of crackers, you know, make sure you're not getting sick. Yeah. Don't get sick. So what I do is I, uh, they have a little closet there that I go in every week. Well, pretty much every other day because I go through about 80 to 100 people a week. <laughs> and I put in the little 7.5 mini Sprite, Coke, Diet Coke, ginger ale, and apple juice. That's the only kind they want. And I keep the uh, pantry stock for them, mm-hmm. you know. So that's a new thing I'm doing now. I just picked that up uh, back in March of this year. Cool. Yep. And you, you, um, I know you do um, like um, military bases, uh, prisons. Um, prison. <clears throat> prison. Oh. Yeah. Fort Rucker, Alabama, which is a military base. Yeah. Got a prison where I do visitation, where we sell the uh, people come and visit their loved ones that's locked up in prison, you know, and I sell stuff out of the snack machines and over the counter. And you that's, know. Big, that's big business there at the prison, isn't it? it? It was before the pandemic, and but now it's starting to pick up a little bit. Like this time of the year with the holidays around, everybody's more people are coming to see their loved ones. So it's picked up for me. The, November and December is going to be a busy month for me, too. But yes, it is still pretty good. It's not as good as it was, but it's still good. Yeah. 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 Yep. I do. I got nine machines at the prison I service once a week. And uh, I got about 70 machines on Fort Rucker. (laughs) (laughs) That's kind of crazy. Yeah. I probably got about uh, 120, 150 machines total. Wow. A lot. Yeah. 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 And that's a, that's a lot for, for a vendor, um, from what I understand. Right. Yes. You, if, if you're going to want to do it by yourself or your you know spouse helps you or your, your child is going to help you if they're grown, you know, let's stay around about 80, 80 machines. Cause 150 you is a five day a week job. And actually, uh, from about the middle of October, I have worked every Saturday and I will probably work every Saturday till the new year. Mm-hmm. So six days a week for right now. Which, which that's okay. It's good. It's, it'd be worth yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Uh, you know? Yeah. And that's one thing we talked a lot about in the, our video is that, you know, if, if you get into the, the business enterprise program and you are willing to work, it's not easy work, yeah. it's hard work, but if you're willing to do it, it can be good, uh, good income. You can make a great living. I mean, a good living. I wouldn't say great, but you can make <laughs> a good living doing it if you, but you got to get up every day because yeah. snack machine. I've told you this, Sam, they don't feel their self. Yeah. <laughs> and people get angry, right? If their machines go empty. Yeah. <laughs> I picked up about five more places since you left. Remember the one I took you to and we done? Yeah. Yeah. But you did them with the camera. Yeah. I got about five more places like close by here wow. in Dothan. We already talked, you already talked about the training. So you do have to go to an actual, get some legitimate training. And you went um, to the Alabama School for the Blind, right? Yep, E.H. Gentry, the uh, Alabama School for the Deaf and Blind. Okay. And what'd you say? How many weeks? Six weeks? Six months. Oh, six months. Okay. Training. You got to stay in the dorm, you know. And we we run used to run a little snack bar. Plus, we had vending machines throughout the campus of the of the school. Mm-hmm. You know, we would go fill weekly. You know, we had some away from the campus on other campuses there in Talladega, Alabama. Pretty much getting like on the job training while you're learning everything. The job training, yes. Yeah. Yep. That's what it is. They they put you right in there, teach you how to work, you know, work the machines and work the snack bar. And, you mm-hmm. know, you ask register, you know, you set your prices of what needs to be what you, you do your own inventory of your snacks that you have to order and drinks you have to order. Well, that leads right into the next question about accommodations. Now, I mean, this is a program that's <clears throat> for the blind and visually impaired. So it's already going to be set up 
hopefully to work the best for what, you know, for everybody's needs. But yes. um, now that you're, you know, you're on your own, you're well-established and all that, what kind of accommodations do you use? Um, whether that's like for travel, um, you know, uh, electronics, uh, anything like that in order to do the job? Uh, I got a portable CCTV I use mm -hmm. that I carry around with me and a magnifying glass <laughs> <laughs> and an Aaron. I got him. Yeah, uh, his son, Aaron. <laughs> yeah. My son, Aaron. And you did meet, if you watch the video we made, you'll see him in it. Yeah. Um, I got a CCTV upstairs and a computer to do my paperwork on once a month. Cause you, you know, we pay it, you know, a commission back to the state for, you know, helping us, you know, but mm. it's 10% of what you make gross sales, you know, which is a great deal. They, they help you put machines in buildings. If you find locations and 90, you know, down here, 80% of the time you're going to have an established route already. You can jump right in making money. Yeah. If you, if you're, if you're willing to work though. And you know, I've said that a thousand times, but <laughs> right. I was gonna say they help with um, even like maintenance on the machines. If you need it. Technicians that we pay, you know, that are paid. I call them, you know, if I got a problem, yeah. you know, if major problem, but you know, over the course of my 14 years though, I've learned to tinker with them a little bit so I don't have to bug them all the time. So, right. Cause I'm not the only vendor. They got like 20 vendors. So, yeah. you know, but we, technicians um they can they help us get cctvs and portable cctvs computers that uh you name it they'll help you get it they they can help you get your bioptics you know mm -hmm. here here in alabama so yes yeah, there's a lot of accommodations they help you do so yeah and then there's transportation too because even though you are a bioptic driver part of the the program <clears throat> rules is that you're not allowed to drive to your uh no. locations so that's what, yeah, part of what aaron Have does you, is help drive yeah he dri he does the driving i do the directing <laughs> <laughs> you know if you have old equipment or you know tore up equipment they're pretty you know they help you get it fixed uh -huh. at no cost to you all you do once a month is pay a, a set aside fund that's it mm -hmm. that's all it, they, it's it's a great program to be in especially you know in this state, it is for sure. I don't know about other states. Yeah. But it's a good program down here. They help you get everything you need to be successful. They hand you the keys. It's up to you to drive it. Right. Yeah. So that's a very good point. Do they, is there any kind of startup? Like, did you have to pay to get into the program or, or you don't have pay? to pay to get in the program? You just, you go, to, you got, well, your payment is going to school for six months to do the training <laughs> and being blind. <laughs> And being blind. <laughs> well, after also after you do your six months uh, training, you got to do another six weeks of OJT, which is on the job training with another vendor. Okay. You go, what you do is you go out with another vendor and see how they do things, you know. Right. So did you have any, uh, well, actually, what's, when did you first start losing your vision? How, our vision, how old were you? Oh, 10. Okay. 10. Yep. Okay. Did you have any jobs prior to getting into the BEP program? Yes, I was an electrician for 12 years. Okay. I did that with one. I'd done plumbing work, which I don't like to tell people that. Because <laughs> they want you uh, to do it. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, no, I don't do plumbing, bro. It's a nasty. <laughs> uh, you probably, so you probably do a lot of that just by feel and kind of figuring yeah. it out. Huh? Yeah. That's all you do. I mean, you know, there's one good thing. I can see black and white that I know for sure. And uh -huh. pretty much residential home is your wires going to bleed black, white, white, and green, you know? Okay. So that's pretty, pretty basic, you know, plus I've been doing it a long time. Like you said, I just feel around for what I need to just make sure the power's off before you do it. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> well, there you go. There's another job for you guys. Uh, electrician. That's a possibility. Not recommended. Not recommended. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right well danny thank you man i appreciate you jumping on and, and sharing that with us and oh. um hopefully they anytime, give some some people some ideas yeah anytime you want to do it sam let me know man i don't mind doing it. trying to make them help them live their best blind life and having a good job does that and vending is very good for blind people i do want you to put that in the video vending pantry service snack bars are very good for blind people there yeah. is 
It's not the hardest work in the world, but it's, but it's not. The, the, the worst thing about it is lifting heavy drinks all day. And you work eight hours, yeah, you're going to be a little tired from slinging drinks, <laughs> you know. But, you know, getting out there owning your own business and being successful and working hard, you make real good money. I make a good living. Your sister keeps trying to spend it all. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, that's, I think that's, I think that's the best way we can end it right there, man, is, is it's, and that's true for any job, really. You get out and you, you work hard and enjoy yeah. what you're doing. Hopefully, um, you can, you can live a good life. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, guys. Well, if you enjoyed that video, hopefully you did give it a like, definitely helps out the channel. If you'd <laughs> like to see more, definitely check out the playlist for all the other episodes in the working blind series. I will have that listed down below in the video description. And that's it, guys. Thank you again. Thanks, Danny. And as always, this is Sam with The Blind Life. I will see you next time.